Hey everyone, I'm Sir Oswald and welcome to my video class. On my previous video, I discussed about the current state of ICT and I also discussed the three kinds of web, web 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0 or also known as the static web, dynamic web, and the semantic web. And I also discussed the convergence of ICT such as social media, mobile apps, and assistive media. So for today's video, I will be discussing about online systems, functions, and platforms. So what is online platforms? So the term online platform has been used to describe a range of services available on the internet, including the marketplace, search engines, social media, creative content outlet, app stores, communications, services, payment system, service com comprising, or also known as the collaborative or gig economy, and much more. Kumbaga, yung online platforms are our medium for us to use and to, for us to connect from one source to another. Or connect natin siya sa mga uh, content creator, or sa mga webmaster for us to gain information and knowledge and to be informed as well. So these are the following online platforms used by people. So first we have social media, search engines, communication services, payment system, and advertising platform. Social media. So social media is an interactive computer-mediated technologies that facilitate the creation or sharing of information, ideas, career, interests, and other forms of expression via virtual communities and network. So this is the most commonly used, and I know that you are aware of how to utilize and use this. So some people use this for being informed by, by the public, or to get connected with with their families and friends so they use the social media and also by means of social media we get informed and also we can share knowledge from from one person to another so based from the result of the survey of statista these are the following leading social media platforms among the internet users in the Philippines as of the third quarter of 2019. So, naman sa mismong result na number one yung Facebook, then followed by YouTube, then Facebook Messenger, Instagram, Twitter, Skype, yan, then so on. Kumaga, nakikita din dito kasi kung ano yung much kung yung mas preference ng taong gamitin ang social media as their medium to communicate with other uh, with the community with the digital community yan kumbaga makikita uh, rin dito kung ano yung preference nila in terms of using for entertainment purposes for um, for informative for educational so lahat iyan ay usually ginagamit. So kagaya ngayon din na we na sa nangyayari sa sitwasyon natin ngayon na pandemic na we prefer to go online din na ma-inform din yung mga ibang tao. For us, ginagamit natin ang Facebook Messenger for example para magbigay tayo ng mga outputs or informations or announcement sa mga Sajante, so, kaya nang ginagawa natin ngayon na yun ang ating ginagawang medium them to get connected then. Yan so ginagamit na ngayon ng social media for uh for educationals. Kagaya nito that we do our education or our lesson remotely. Yan. Next we have search engines. So search engine results are generally presented in a line of results often uh, referred to us as search engine result pages or SERPs. The information may be mixed of links to web pages, images, videos, infographics, articles, research papers, and other types of files. Kumagay, ito yung mas pinupuntahan uh, natin na site kung saan kung tayo ay maghahanap. Minsan nga ginagamit na rin natin yung uh, word or verb na yung Google, di ba? Google it. Kumbaga saan, ito yung sila yung mas kilalang search engine 
in terms of locating and finding information. So a wide variety of uh, different platforms, different sites, na either semantic, static, or dynamic website, yun ang makikita nyo dito sa search engines. Na mas preferred na rin natin itong gawin kumpara pupunta tayo sa, sa mga national library, or magsik tayo ng interview. So, mas ginagawa na natin ito kasi most convenient din siya and easy access. So, ito na yung mga next, uh, mga different types of search engines. And shown on the screen, so now number one dito yung Google, followed by Bing or owned by Microsoft, then Yahoo, then Ask.com, then we have AOL then, or AmericanOnline.com. So, these are the top five search engines used by by online people next we have communication service provider or csp a service provider that transport information electronically for example a telecommunication service provider the term encompasses public and private companies in the telecom or landline wireless internet cable satellite and managed services businesses so sila yung mga uh, nagpo-provide sa atin ng mga for example internet connections or uh, for us to be connected to other or for us to be informed okay for us to transmit and receive information so sila yung nagpo-provide sa atin ng mga uh, wirelessly connections so these are the following uh, providers for telecommunication we have smart globe sun cellular touch mobile we have the talk and text for cable and internet we have one sky con uh, converge then we have signal we have globe for internet and pldp or assist uh, um tie up sila with smart yeah the next, we have a payment system provider. So it is a, any system used to settle financial transactions through transfer of monetary value and includes the institutions, instruments, people, rules, procedures, standards, and technologies. So nowadays, yung pagmamani transfer or banking online, uh, nagiging preferred na rin ito as preference for more convenient din sa mga users lalo na uh, para ma-avoid yung mga hold up or ma-avoid din yung uh, hassle na mag-commute so ngayon mas uh, pati yung government ini-encourage din yung mga tao na mag gumamit nila ng mga wireless transaction lalo na for payment for bills payment or for bank transfer yan so, marami na rin tayo mga uh, payment system provider na talagang during pandemic, ito na yung naging takbuhan ng mga tao. So, for example, so sa Philippines, ito yung mga leading payment center or payment system provider na ginagamit ng mga tao. So, this uh, I have here the 15 best payment uh, getaway in the Philippines. So, we have Dragon Pay, Paymaya, Gcash, iPay88, Coin PH, e, uh, Easy Pay, PayPal, Peso Pay, Paynamix, 7-Eleven Connects, Rural Net, Tag Cash, then we have uh, Alternative Pay Net, Grab Pay, and Link Biz Portal. Bagay yung mga kilala or most trusted na mga payment options natin for wireless leap. Yan. So sila yung mga ginagamit or usually ginagamit ng magulang ninyo for payment transactions. The next, we have the advertising platforms. It allows users to create and manage advertising campaigns, generate reports, and retrieve information about the ads, campaigns, and organizations that are associated with an account. So, hindi lang naman din uh, from traditional na through posters, for advertising, for word of mouth. So, ngayon, eh, ginagamit din yung online as 
and effective platforms to advertise one product for marketing purposes. So, ngayon ginagar a wide variety of platforms that they use nowadays. Ano ko naman na-observe nyo rin ito dahil whenever time you use your social media or nakahook kayo sa isang um, website, talagang minsan may nagpa-pop in pa doon ng mga, mga advertising uh, collaterals or materials in any forms then. So, I have here an example of different advertising platforms. Yan, for uh, promote uh, for if you want to promote videos. So, we have here, for example, YouTube, Facebook, then Twitter. Yan, yung mga commonly used yan. Kung saan, kapag nanonood kayo ng mga uh, videos, then your video will stop, then um, ads will come in. Yan. Then, for posts and stories, we have uh, for Twitter, yeah, so these are the following. Then for music and playlist, yeah, so we have iTunes, Spotify, and all the rest. For images, yeah, pics art, and then for website we have Google. And for listing, yeah, we have for for Square, eBay, yeah. Kumbaga, these sites also have a revenue by by some of the known companies that would like to use their uh, to use their platforms to advertise so aside from viewing or viewers uh, kumikita rin sila sa pag advertise ng mga products and services ng mga ibang companies yan to to kumagay nila siya sa TV for commercials and radio now they use also the different platforms to advertise or to market their product and services Right. So next, we have the different online platforms that you may want to to explore and utilize for your uh, future projects and needs. So for example, uh, we have presentation tools. Uh, you can use uh, Prezi and we have Zoho Shows and Microsoft uh, PowerPoint for online. Then for newsletter, we can, you can use the Dropbox, Tumblr, Wix. Then next for photo editing, we have Picasa, uh, Adobe, uh, Adobe Photoshop, Gems, then also Canva. Then video for video editing, you can use Sony Vega Pro or Windows Maker or Adobe Premiere. Then for photo uploading and hosting, you can use Dropbox and Flickr. For online collaborative, you can use Google Drive, Viber, and also Facebook. For cloud computing, you can use Dropbox, G Drive, Microsoft OneDrive. For storaging or for um, online storage. For blog tools, you can use Blogger, WordPress, LiveJournal. For mapping, you can use the G Maps or Waze or Wikimapia. Then for music production, you can use Sony Vega Pro, Audacity, then VJ, uh, Virtual DJ. Then for survey and forms, you can use uh, the Google Forms. For ICT projects, content and uploading, you can use WordPress, Microsoft Office Project Server, File Manager. Then for web design, you can use Wix, Wibbly, Jimdo, or you can use the Adobe Dream, Dream Weaver. Then for web management, you can use Drupal and WordPress and Joomla. Okay, so those are the following online platforms that I could suggest you can use for, for that kind of purposes. And so, explore nyo lang sila. Some of, uh, lahat naman ito ay, uh, you can use it, or friendly, friendly user naman din siya. Kumbaga, hindi siya masyado o ganun ka, uh, ka-techy masyado. So, you can browse it and explore their services. The uh, services that you provide. Okay? Then, that's it. That is for the topic for the different platforms, their functions, and their uses. 
For our next lesson, these are the following topics that I will be discussing. The online safety, security, ethics, and etiquette. So stay tuned guys.